The world's largest robotics conference comes to Montreal. We'll take a look at the latest innovations, including from Quebec. This is CBC Montreal News. The world's largest robotics conference kicked off today at Palais des Congrès. It is the first time the event has ever been held in Canada. Now, the expo brings together academics, companies and researchers to discuss and showcase the latest in this futuristic field. Simon Akinechny stopped by. The words robotics and artificial intelligence can conjure up dystopian visions of a robot takeover. And it's true, some aspects are a little unsettling. But the reality, at least for now, is more mundane. Still, the field is riding a wave, and Quebec companies have their hands in it too. Uh, Montreal is really starting to be known as the hub for, for AI in Canada and in the world. Montreal-based Element AI just launched a robotics lab. This gadget learns to detect blemishes on apples. It could help farmers or grocery stores keep produce fresh. Smart fridges, you know, they could tell what produce is already past date or what's rotten or maybe what's not, uh, what's defective and that customers might not want to buy. Look at my face. While there are a few quirky humanoid bots to be found, most of the gizmos here are geared towards more practical tasks, doing what humans can't or don't want to do. This device acts as a kind of robot surrogate, going places you can't or won't. So you can put it wherever you want and then you can call into it from a laptop or a phone and you can control it, you can have conversations, you can interact with people. So if I, as a journalist, yeah. I want to, didn't want to go to a really boring press conference, <laughs> I could just send this guy. I imagine I have done that before, I won't say where. The robots here are still a ways off from fooling anyone into thinking they're human. If they can help people do their work more efficiently, Expect to see more and more of them in everyday life. Simon Akineshi, CBC News, Montreal. It's a little too close, Simon. Tonight with our picture of the day, and thank you to Svetlana for this stunner from Cap Saint-Jacques. What a beautiful photo that is. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night. We'll see you again tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Enjoy the rest of your long weekend.